Oh, hello. My name is David Davis. David Davis, the industrialist, the entrepreneur. And today I'm known as David Davis, the first tycoon from Wales. I was born in December 1818 in Llandinam in mid Wales. And home was a small farm. But working on the farm didn't generate enough income for us as a family. So I had to leave school at the age of 11 to help my father. And then I had to find a job. But working gave me my first salary. And my first salary gave me the first savings, which gave me the first security. I was a young, adventurous young man. And I was determined that I was going to take advantage of every single opportunity. And even though we lived in Llandinam, I was very eager to see beyond the village. But travelling in the 1860s wasn't very easy. You could walk, horse, horse and cart, a boat or a ship if you lived near the water. And if you were very lucky, you could take a train. But there were very few trains in Wales. Wales needed a network of railways to carry people as well as cargo. A new venture. Building a railway is a lot of very hard work. Dig, shift, cut, pull. Dig, shift, cut, pull. Dig, shift, cut, pull. Oh. After a year of very hard, dangerous, sweaty work, we finished our very first railway. Hmm. But that wasn't the end of it. Oh no, Wales needed more railways. A network of railways. Railways from Dufferin Cloyd, 1858, Llanid Lois, Newtown, Oswestry, Machantleth. But that wasn't the end of it. Oh no, I carried on building railways for the coming years. Tenby, Whitland, Pencader, and Aberystwyth. Now I was ready for my next adventure, coal. By all accounts, there were thousands of tons of this black gold under our feet, and I was determined to find it. Dig, dig, dig for a week. Dig, dig, dig for a fortnight. Dig, dig, dig for a month. Dig for six months. Dig for a year. Dig, dig, dig for a year and a half. Can I have your attention, please? You have worked tirelessly for a year and a half. I am convinced that there is coal beneath our feet, but with a heavy heart I have to tell you that I don't have any more money. You will receive your final salary today, and your employment at Mindy Colliery will come to an end. I have nothing left, only this. You might as well have that. I didn't have anything left. I was about to lose everything, but as I threw this piece of silver, half a crown, into the workforce, they realised that I was willing to share my very last penny, that I respected the workforce and all the work that they had done for me over the years. And they decided to work for another week, for nothing. And in that time, on the 6th of March, 1866, 220 yards below the ground, we discovered the finest seam of coal on the planet. Success at last. There was a tremendous demand for coal, so I opened collieries in Park and Dare, Eastern, Western, Garu and Lady Windsor. 
There were 5,583 miners working underground and they extracted enough coal to fill the Millennium Stadium twice. But what was I going to do with so much coal? Well, sell it and sell it to every country on the planet. But how was I going to export the coal? Ships and lots of them. The biggest docks in Wales were in Cardiff, one of the busiest ports in the world. But Cardiff wasn't big enough to hold so many ships. So what do you think happened next? Yes, I decided to build new docks in Barry. Work started in 1885 and they finished in 1889, costing almost two million pounds. So I built a new railway from the Rhondda to the Barry to take the coal directly from the pits to the docks. So the mines were full of miners digging, the trains were full of coal being taken directly to the ships who were waiting to export the Welsh coal of David Davis, the Ocean Coal Company Limited, across the world. Welsh coal was being exported to France, to countries of the Mediterranean, to West Africa, to South America, and to countries of the Black Sea. I'm an old man now. And after all that work, 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 I'm very tired, tired, tired. And there's a statue of me in Llandina, near the Iron Bridge, my very first venture. And another one down in Barry, near the docks, my last venture. And it's important for you all to remember that you have to believe in your ability to succeed. You have to venture. If you don't venture, you'll never know.